Kunming, a city of 5 million people in southwestern China, is outgrowing its city center. The municipal government is about to move to a new home in the suburbs. Grandiose new buildings are commonplace in China's booming cities. But one of the structures in Kunming's new administrative center is less expected. Road crews are still working on the highways around an enormous new church. In some parts of China, Christianity is growing along with the economy. The new church is packed for an elaborate inaugural service. This is to be the Kunming headquarters of China's official Protestant church, known as the Christianity Three Self Patriotic Movement. More than a dozen choirs from neighboring congregations take part, many wearing the colorful costumes of the region's ethnic minorities. Church's pastor, Zhang Benmei, is also chairman of the government committee responsible for Kunming's Protestants. Religious groups in China must register with the government. Unofficial churches are often shut down. The government is quick to suppress any religious activity which it sees as a challenge to Communist Party authority. Still, in some areas, the party has begun to see some advantage in tolerating Christianity and even allowing it to flourish. This brand new church is by far the biggest and most official in Yunnan province, but it's certainly not the only one. <laughs> Thursday night is youth night at St. John's Church in Kunming. A reception committee calls out, welcome, Jesus loves you. <laughs> Many say religious faith has given new meaning to their lives. A compelling mix of performance and prayer, pop music and piety attracts large crowds of enthusiastic worshippers. driven home by the drums and guitars of a professional band. It's a message of health and happiness here on earth and life everlasting in the hereafter. Church leaders say Christianity is in tune with the government's philosophy, contributing to what government propaganda calls a harmonious society. As the service draws to a close, Pastor Zhang Yilin leads the congregation in the Lord's Prayer. At Beichen Church in northern Kunming, committee members empty the collection boxes. The church relies on donations to pay its bills and finance good works. 
some Christians believe the government has allowed more room for churches in its harmonious society since they made significant contributions to earthquake relief two years ago. Pastor Huang Ailin says Christians do work for good causes, but most join the church for personal reasons. She says the church attracts people of all kinds. Young and old, rich and poor, all have one reason in common. They share a thirst for something to believe in. Chinese Kungang is a gritty steel town outside Kunming. The congregation at the church near the steel mill is mostly working class. Few parishioners have a deep understanding of the details of Christianity, but they do have a deep faith in the promise of eternal salvation. His arms outstretched towards heaven in classic holy roller style, assistant pastor Chang Xiaoming calls on God to send rain for drought-stricken areas, to heal the sick, and above all, to solve the church's financial problems. The Kungang congregation is deep in debt because of plans to build a new church. Pastor Wang Zhejun is as persistent and persuasive as an American televangelist, urging parishioners to dip into their pensions and their savings. In the church office, the faithful line up to make contributions. Many give more than they can afford, but it's still not enough. Letters have been sent out to churches across China and to other countries asking Christians all over the world if they'd like to lend a helping hand. The design for the new church is ambitious and costly. A large plot of land has already been paid for and foundations have been dug. Groups of church members visit the site every day talking eagerly about the next step, construction. The building will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, a huge sum for a group of working class Christians in China. But they say, this is God's plan, not ours. We trust in God to give us what we need. <laughs> they end their daily visits with hymns and prayers, asking God to send them steel, cement, money, and perhaps a miracle to finish the church. The parishioners of Kungang have gone further than most congregations, but they belong to just one of many religious communities in China, finding that the transition from Marxism to the market economy has opened up a little more space for faith.
Patrick Brown, CBC News, Kunming.